It's three o'clock. What are you doing here so early? I ran away from home. What? I need asylum. There's one in Pixley. I'll give you a reference if you need one. What's the matter, Al? Oh, Mrs. Douglas. Oh, oh there, there. Oh, good night. Where are you going? Well, I'm going to bed. It's three o'clock. What about Ralph? Oh, uh, good night, Ralph. Oh, now you did it. Ralph, will you stop blubbering? What's wrong? We had a big fight. He threw me out of the house and told me never to come home. Ooh. Well, good night. Ah! You're being so cruel. Why did you come here? I couldn't think of any other place to go. Oh? Well, I'll give you some addresses. Oh, please, can I stay here? Of course you can. Now, wait. Uh... What was the fight about? Oh, Alf accused me of letting his saw get rusty. Is that all you were fighting about? Well, that was just the beginning. He made remarks about how homely I am and how I cheated Indian wrestling. But when he said that he'd look better in a miniskirt than I do, I belted him one. You mean you, you hit him with your... His eye, you should see it. It's a beaut. All right, uh, Ebb's away. You can have his room over the barn. Oh, I'd be scared to sleep in the barn. Well, then you can sleep with me. And where am I supposed to sleep? You can sleep in the barn. Nothing doing? Oh, so you're scared to sleep out there, too. Well, you can sleep on the couch. Oh, thanks. Uh, would you clear it off, please? No, you can... Cl <laughs> You were the type, your wife sleeping in the other room. No, 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 no. I was just trying to wake you up. You were snoring. Oh. Oh, well, all you have to do is turn me over on my stomach and pat my back. Turn yourself over on your stomach and pat your own back. Good night. <laughs> Douglas, I'm ready to go to work. Good, good. It may take me a few days longer than I planned. I'm no longer the Monroe brothers. I'm just plain Alf Monroe, solo carpenter. Yes, I, uh... He and Ralph had a fight, but I don't need her. I was always the brains of the outfit anyway. If you were the brains, that explains how we get stuck with these crummy jobs. <laughs> what are you doing here in your bathroom? I spent the night here. Well, how brazen can you get? Oh, now look here, she... Mom was right. You got the instincts of a hippie. You want another shiner? That's it. Resort to violence. What's all the yelling about? You know what's been going on between my brother and your husband? What? Nothing. Ralph, will you please go to the other room? Gladly. Now, Alf, you start working on the... Not me. I won't work any place where she's living. <laughs> she's not living here. She just spent the night here. Well, when you get rid of her... Alf, will you... Well, now you did it. I didn't do anything. That's what we get for taking her in. She wakes up at 3 o'clock in the morning, snores the whole rest of the night. She's got adenoids like a stevedore. If you were my house guest, I wouldn't knock your adenoids. You are not our house guest. Well, then what is she? Well, let's not go into that. Uh, Ralph, if you want to stay here, you're going to have to work on the bedroom. Not me. I wouldn't touch anything he's touched. Oh, uh, all the... What did you expect her to say? If you and I split up, would you do the bedroom? What's that got to do... Look, Lisa, she is not going to stay here. Oliver, you mean... I am not. Now, if you want her to stay here, you talk her into going to work. Okay? Okay. What do you think you're doing? I'm going to get dressed. Not in front of me. I am a married woman. 